Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to bring you guys this video. Um, this is probably most likely going to be the definite last for a while. Um, at least 90 days. Uh, tomorrow I'm putting down a down payment on something that um, I'm very, very excited about. Uh, it won't be ready for, I've been told, at least 90 days. Um, anywhere in between 90 days up to 150 days um, so I should be receiving it um, I it's, it's a rather large down payment that I'm making um, so let's see here it's it's gonna probably take multiple payments um, as far as you know I know um, and there's other aspects to it that I'm gonna end up having to do but this one right here, uh, I've been wanting for a very long time. Um, basically, well, I'll, once I get it open, I'll tell you what, how I got this guy. Um, but this one's one that I kept trying to get, kept trying to get, kept trying to get. No matter what I did, for some reason, I was always getting either outbid or outtraded or something along those lines and in fact this one was traded before I was able to get it and uh, apparently the person that decided that they wanted it um, or was going to originally do the trade backed out or something along those lines but um, I got lucky because the gentleman said that it was back up and um, he, was, he just basically put it back up for bid, and uh, originally I was his first trade, and before the the other one, and um, so he he put it back up for bid. I noticed it. I kept watching it just to see in case if you know the guy happened to put it back up for bid, and he did. I got real lucky on that, and um, I'm actually very excited if I could get this puppy open. Yeah, he's got super glue or something on here. Look at that. Sticking on my knife, even. Um, I don't know. I, I think that you guys might enjoy this one. Actually, let's just do the pull tabs. Screw it. I'm too overzealous on this guy. And there's... The box... There's your tool right there. Think twice, cut once. And actually, I'll just show you guys. The Amnandi snake wood. Um, this puppy is brand new. He said that he uh, carried it once. And, um,. He just said that it was way too small for him. Um, so, got lucky. Uh, what I traded for it was my um, uh, my Microtech um, SOCOM, the Plain Edge, uh, double action. Um, basically, I traded that. Uh, when he put it back up for bid, um, because what he wanted was he wanted a regular Sebenza. Um, or a Sebenza 21 or basically anything um, he didn't really care he just wanted a large Sebenza of some sort and um, basically he, he really wasn't into any other offers he just wanted the Sebenza the large because he wanted something a lot bigger and he wanted it to be a Chris Reef uh, so I basically initially told him that I had a Microtech SOCOM um, he kind of jumped at the chance at first and told me that he was willing to do the trade and then the next day I received an email stating that um, that he had found the Sebenza, somebody offered him a Sebenza and that it was no longer up for trade so he basically backed out and um, when he did that I was very disappointed I was looking so forward to it and then when he put it back up for bid, um, I offered it to him again, the same deal, but I offered him extra money as well. 
and he jumped on it and um, basically said that uh, he would ship it out same day and everything but apparently I guess he waited until he actually received the knife from me um, I don't know if he just didn't feel comfortable with uh, the fact that you know I wasn't very I didn't have a lot of um, time on um, or a whole lot of sales or trades on blade forums so I guess he just didn't feel too comfortable with it but either way um, it's here I'm happy I was worried at first um, just because I thought maybe he was just you know gonna not do the actual trade he was just gonna try and rip somebody off but luckily he didn't and I'm very happy that he didn't so this is the snake wood there's your Chris Reeve I learned some stuff about my camera and that is, is when there's too much light going into the background or just period uh, that it really doesn't want to focus on the um, actual item in hand there I am bumping my camera um, absolutely gorgeous knife there's blade alignment let's compare that in there to the large and let's go ahead and break this guy out sorry I was a little unprepared I didn't realize I was going to be breaking them all out here. But there they all are. So it is a little bit smaller than the small Sabenza. Um, not by much, as you guys can see. It's just ever so slightly shorter. The blade length is maybe a quarter of an inch longer on the Sabenza, or the small Sabenza. Um, but absolutely gorgeous knife, very, very light, I mean, in comparison to the large or the small, um, this thing is incredibly light, I might have to EDC this, oh, by the way, I have been EDCing this a lot, um, more as a protective knife than anything, um, or defensive knife. Uh, basically I just um, keep my cat on me all day so I don't know I might have to try this out start carrying this little guy uh, the pocket clip so, get this to focus I'll probably give you guys some more background on it once I've actually had a chance to carry it and everything um, I do plan on getting the uh, carry pouches for both this as well as my large Sabenza. Um, the one on my large Sabenza I've been using is a uh, for my um, Victorinox. Uh, can't remember the name of it. It's it's one of the it's one of the super tools. Um, absolutely beautiful knife though. But I've been using, been carrying this guy around. Um, everybody's very impressed by it. Uh, I actually had a coworker. I'm sitting there showing one of my buddies at work. And one of my coworker comes and snatches it out of his hand to go cut some stuff off of the glass. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, dude, you do realize how expensive that knife is? And he goes, well, let's see how well an expensive knife works. And uh, he was impressed but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video um, and uh, please leave your feedback comments rate anything uh, subscribe um, and basically uh, this will be my last video for probably quite a while unless if I just happen to you know come across something or maybe do some of the my others but otherwise I'm gonna probably be waiting until um, my new item comes in. So, hope you guys have a good night. Thanks. Bye.